The next Opal Tone tool is Opal Tone CX Edit. So if you go to Filter, Opal Tone CX Edit, this allows you to edit a separated file and make minor adjustments or color changes. So similar to the CX menu, CX Edit has on the right hand side the same channel reader, but down here you'll see a different menu. This is a color correction menu and it's very simple. You simply drag the dropper over, pick up a color area you'd like to color correct. In this example, it's 99 cyan and 43 blue. So you might decide, well, I want to just bring the blue background up and introduce a little bit more magenta into that background. That's fine. Next color correction, click on a red area. In this example, 100 yellow, 87. You might want to have a little bit yes, less yellow. Um, little bit more red in there and I think you get the idea. The orange 9835 you want to just crank up the orange a little bit, a little bit of magenta for some detail and shape. At any time you can go back and view that color correction. You can activate it or turn it off or if you want to just delete it altogether just click on the X button and it'll be deleted automatically. At any time, click on another error. You can have up to 20, 30 color corrections in a job. You can just keep building up the history. And as I said, at any time, you can go back and delete a color correction. When all your color corrections are done, hit OK. Let's have a look at this function here, range. If I select on this orange area, we'll just zoom in. And if I decided to bring up the red in that orange, right now the range is set at, in this example, 40. The default is 50, and this range is similar to the fuzziness function in Photoshop, so it's just isolating the nearest or surround pixels with the closest adjacent color and narrowing in the color correction range. You can see when you get down below the 10-15% it can become a very dangerous tool. So use very sparingly and our advice is always keep the range to within 20 to 60 to get an optimum color correction point. And with again 50 being the default under preferences, you can adjust the range to 50 or last used or whatever default setting you'd like to have in there. If I click on another area now, and you see the range now is defaulted back to 50 as per the preference. Hit OK, and the color correction is done. Color correct through a mask in CX Edit, similar to using a mask in CX. So if we take the mask, activate it, filter, CX Edit, activate the mask, and now we can color correct the area we want. Hit OK. And there it is. Apply any mask you like, activate it, and the same theory applies. For further information, please visit opaltone.com. Thank you.